Hello folks, this is Ayatana Jha from InspiredRise.com and this is the Epson Photo Printer PM520. This is one of the best portable printers that you can carry on with you with battery power and I guess the kind of pictures that it does take are really good and the quality speaks for itself and you can take really good photos with this specific printer but is it all good and are the features worth it keep watching so guys the pm520 is one of the portable photo printers by epson it has a 36 seconds print speed has a rechargeable battery option when you unbox this what you get on the inside is the printer itself you get few other things like the power cable and a few other things like the documentation warranty card etc etc and you also get the cartridge for this one it comes with a 5760 dpi print resolution and you can use the epson connect application and you can also use wi-fi or wi-fi direct for connectivity Personally, if you're somebody who just has a mobile phone and even does not have a Wi-Fi connection at a particular point of time, you can use the Wi-Fi Direct option in order to connect to the printer and then use the Epson Connect app in order to like print all of the photographs that you want. I printed a lot of photos using that itself and it's very convenient but inside the box you also get a USB cable so plus point for that. This one comes with a one year warranty. It supports photo paper of A5 plain paper or normal photo paper. USB 2.0 is supported. It has a 2.7 inch color LCD display. And with one photo ink cartridge, you can print around 160 prints. It weighs around 2.3 kilograms and it supports printing of JPEG images via SD cards. If you talk about what colors are present on the inside, it has cyan, magenta and yellow. So it's the CMY uh, color scheme and it also has a black cartridge on the inside. And with that, you can get up to 160 photo prints with a single full cartridge. And if I talk about the print quality, it's really good, really satisfactory. If I talk about the application itself, one of the positive things about the application is that it does have a lot of options. But one of the things that was enabled by default was the fact that there was an option called as auto enhance and auto sharpen which was enabled by default and it made some of the images go really over sharp and I guess personally I would prefer that you disable both of the options in order to maintain the original color and accuracy of the images and they look really good if you uh, just disable those options they look uh, closer to the vintage look of the images that we used to take back in the days. One cartridge for this one costs around 1300 rupees or so and for 160 prints if we do some math magic we would get to a figure of around 8 rupees per photo. So I guess 8 rupees per photo is an okay price because of the fact that it's really economical if you think about all of those things like the paper cost everything. It's still really economical. Those photos are really great. You can actually gift those to people. I gave one or two of these photos to my friends away and they were really happy with the picture quality. The PM520 retails for a price of 14,000 rupees right now online. And for such a price, I believe that this is a good product. It carries a lot of features. If you're somebody who's gonna print photos on the go, if you're somebody who wants to print out photos of your loved ones and you want to keep those precious memories in a physical form, then this is a good printer for you. One of the issues that I encountered while using this product was the fact that uh, if I put in more than four or five papers at once, uh, the uh, image alignment got a little haywire and the final printed images were because of the fact that when the feeder paper was being taken in it just uh, went sideways a little bit sideways and later on I found out that it was an issue which was caused by my error you are not supposed to put more than four or five photo papers at once inside this I had put a bundle of 30 papers inside at once so that will cause errors so just I guess apart from few mechanical issues I didn't face any issue with this product and it's an easy to use easy to set up portable product and good for those people who are looking to invest in something like this for printing photos on the go so guys this was it for this video and with this product everybody can become a photographer of sorts because you can print pictures like this anytime so guys this was it and in case you like this video don't forget to smash the thumbs up button there's a subscribe button down there to hit that one and there's also a bell icon down there don't forget to smash it and guys 
no matter what you do stay inspired to rise